so in order to find out the magnitude of voltage and current we apply Pythagoras theorem for current okay so in order to find out the mathematical formula for current in order to find out mathematical formula for current we apply Pythagoras theorem in which hypotenuse whole square perpendicular whole square plus base whole square so here in this case hypotenuse is v so v square and perpendicular whole square minus vc whole square plus base is we are for so we are whole square this means that hypotenuse is ob whole square is equal to perpendicular a b whole square plus o a whole square okay after that here b c whole square and we know that v square negative sign whole square is equal to v c whole square plus v r whole square because minus a whole square is equal to a square okay so in order to find out magnitude of voltage v taking square root on both sides okay because this is the square of voltage and we need only the magnitude of voltage V so VC whole square plus VR whole square so cancel out each other and we get VC whole square plus VR whole square so if you have the value of VR and VC you can conclude the magnitude of voltage in case of RC series AC circuit easily okay now mathematical for sorry this is the mathematical formula for voltage because here we just find out the magnitude of voltage V okay so now we can find out the, the mathematical formula for current so by keeping by using equation number a as we know that v is equal to vc whole square plus vr whole square also we know that we know that vc is equal to ixc and vr is equal to ir so 
put in the values in equation a we get v is equal to i x c whole square plus i r whole square okay here v is equal to i square x c whole square i square r square so after that by taking i square as a common x c square plus r square this means that v is equal to square root i square square root r square plus x c whole square so here square root cancel out each other and we get x c whole square plus r square but we have to find out the current i so current i is equal to v divided by r square plus x c whole square okay so this is the formula for calculating current i in rc series ac circuit for calculating current i in rc series ac circuit okay also now the term now the term r square plus x c whole square is the opposition offered to the flow of AC current is known as impedance of the circuit also it is also explained in the previous lecture in case of RL series AC circuit I also explain it briefly and it is denoted by impedance of the circuit and it is denoted by symbol Z and measured in ohms. Okay. So, if we replace this term by Z, then we get I is equal to V divided by Z, where Z is equal to R square plus XC whole square, the position which is offered by the circuit to the flow of electric current. Okay. now we discuss how to find out the phase angle phi in case of rc series ac circuit so now in order to calculate the phase angle phi in RC series AC circuit we know that current I 
leads the applied voltage V by angle phi so it can be calculated as tangent th phi is equal to perpendicular divided by base and we know that perpendicular in phase diagram phase diagram is this is the perpendicular a b over base o a where a b is equal to minus v c and o a is equal to v of r since v c is equal to i x c i x c and v r is equal to i r so cancel out each other so tangent phi is equal to minus x c over r okay since we know that current is taken as a reference phasor since current is taken as a reference phasor i.e. this negative sign implies that this negative sign implies that voltage is lagging behind the current by 90 degree just like leads in case of RL series AC circuit ok so tangent theta is equal to x c over r phi is equal to tangent inverse x c over r so by using this formula we can find out the phase angle phi in case of RC series AC circuit okay this formula we can calculate the value of phase angle in case of RC series AC circuit ok now the here is the most important term which is known as XC which is known as inductive reactance sorry capacitive reactance capacitive 
capacitive reactance Xc which is equal to 1 over omega C Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi F C okay okay now thus the magnitude of impedance in case of or C series is circuit depends upon the value of so the magnitude of impedance Z in case of RC series AC circuit depends upon the value of capacitance C, resistance and frequency capacitance C, resistance R and frequency F because we know that Z is equal to R square plus XC whole square okay